Good morning, modern steaders. It's a little chilly out this morning, but it's supposed to warm up to like 40 degrees today. That's like tropical weather right now for us. This is gonna be awesome. Let's load up the wood stove before I head off to work, and then we'll go around. We'll give an update on what we've been doing for the week, do some farm chores, and have a good time. We got our good trusted loyal dog over there just waiting to go outside and feed the animals with us huh pluto our maple syrup taps should be coming ups today fingers crossed i'm excited for that and if you guys didn't see yesterday's video and you haven't checked out the book I was talking about and all the free ebooks she's giving away right now, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the Sweet Maple book coming out. She just dives so deep and explains how to make maple syrup. And the part I really love is she shares her stories, her family's stories of how they messed up, what they learned, how they learned it, and how they've come so far. And it's like, you know what? Thanks, Michelle. Now I don't have to make all those mistakes that you made because you shared yours with me. That's one of the things I love about YouTube, blogs, books. If we write them correctly and we share our experiences, we can help and grow that way. On Wednesday we did a video series of the best homestead animals with homesteady, Keeping It Dutch, Arms Family Homestead, and our channel. And we chose pigs. I mean, I'm just going to say it right out loud. Bacon. That's it. Bacon. That's the best reason to have any animal. And pigs are the only animal you can get bacon from. So if you haven't seen their videos, or if you already have, go back over to their videos and just leave a comment and say bacon. You lose. You can't compete with bacon. But let's get on. So... The salary is doing awesome. I am excited for this. We're going to have to transplant these soon to our medium soil blocks. What I'm waiting for is the roots to start coming out on the small soil blocks, and then we'll switch them over. And then I believe this is your Saturday, but our Saturday, which will be your Monday video, I'm hoping we'll be starting our tomato plants and our pepper plants. That's always a fun project to do with the family. And then we can get more stuff under our grow lights. There's our $30 chick brooder. Be setting that up in another week or two. But it sits there nicely in the corner with our pink ratchet strap. Thanks, Bill. But I'm over here because when I was cooking eggs this morning, I ran out of lard. I need to move the lard to the root cellar, but... For now, we just store it up there. It's dark and cool. But we'll get that in the root cellar soon. Hey Figaro, watch out before I step on you. We didn't hear a meow, so I guess we're good. All right, let's go check on the root cellar. See if we need to adjust the temperature or not. Ooh, it actually feels pretty nice in here. We got the meats hanging and curing. Oh, those look delicious. I'm getting excited. April's gonna be here before you know it. And we're gonna be doing another pasture to plate whole hog culinary course with hand hewn farm. It's gonna be good. 40% humidity and what do we got? 36 degrees. I like that. Those are open all the way. Sauerkraut's looking good. I think I need to bottle that up next. Got our kombucha here. I must say, I'm not drinking as much kombucha this time of the year as I do in the summer. I need to do better with that. But it's hard in the wintertime to, I don't know, to be a kombucha is a summertime drink, which is a great summertime drink, but I need to drink it for our health more throughout the winter too. Oh, I'm just looking at the door. I kept catching my eye. I thought it was like some kind of nest, but it's some of the foam. Hopefully we'll be using the seed starting mix Saturday. 
Everything seems good in here. It smells delicious, so the meats are still doing good. That's one way to know about your meats. If they stink, you know you got an issue. If they don't, let's see if the animals are smelling the prosciutto. Yep, it's not for you. Get out. We let them in there. That prosciutto and copa would be gone in no time. That would not be good Pluto. I think Figaro would be the worst culprit. I could see him climbing up all the shelving and hanging off whatever to get to it. Better make sure that stays shut. Can you see something's missing? We mailed out the plucker yesterday. Me and Olivia dropped off the plucker last night to our local staples, their UPS drop off. Believe it or not, it's going all the way to Long Beach, California. Who would have thunk that we have a modern steader on Long Beach, California. That's awesome. We get to send a chicken plucker cross country. I'm excited for this and I'd love to see it in action someday. So when you use it, send us a photo, a video, post it on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and tag us in it. It'd be great to see it. We're excited. We're getting our meat birds April. We're getting them sent out to us after the pig harvesting class. So End of April, we'll be getting our meat birds here. So that'll be good. The end of this month, we get our egg layers here. I've been loving my DeWalt tools. I've been putting them to the test at work. Yesterday, all week, I've been using the skill saw, the jigsaw, the drill. Been draining the batteries. They work awesome. I can get, it's amazing how many cuts I can get out of the skill saw and the jigsaw with that on the battery. It's kind of fun. I get to give the boss a hard time and let him use the new tool. You want some chick feet, Figaro? Huh? What are you doing, mister? Hey. What are you doing? You ready to go outside and feed the animals? Let's go upstairs. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I almost left our lard down here. We can't be having that. I need to pick up my mess from the concrete countertop desk. I still got that over there, too. Man, I gotta get on that. Lard in the cabinet. I love cooking our eggs in a cast iron skillet. I wanted to show something to you. Our well summer chicks are starting to lay. They lay a beautiful egg. They just started laying last week or the week before. The well summers we got when we bought our frying pan special from Mount Healthy Hatchery last year. We raised up a couple of different heritage breed meat birds. In that order, we got two well summer hens and I kept them. And I'm glad I did because they got some nice looking eggs. So if you're looking for a breed, a bird for a cool looking egg, Definitely going to recommend the well summer. The egg's small, but that's just for now because they just started laying. Those are their first eggs. So that's a pretty big egg for the first few eggs. So they'll get bigger, they'll get medium, and they'll start getting large. So I'm excited to have those. They're just speckled and nice looking. It's kind of fun to go out in the chicken coop and see what kind of prize you can get every day. All right, Figaro, you got to stay in here. Ready to go out? And smell the wood stove going. All right, before we give the chicks their food, let's turn on the water. Oh, let me show you my trick. That snow's got it all messed up so it falls over. So I gotta wedge my shovel in between the 
bucket and it holds it so it doesn't fall off the spigot. Then that way while the water's filling up, we can take care of a few other things. Let's get them some fresh hay to put in the chicken coop. But the greenhouse area is just their run. It's not where they stay all the time. They can come and go into New York City and the greenhouse. use the deep bedding method here and what that is is you don't clean out the coop you just keep adding to it and being in northern New Hampshire the coop hasn't thawed out yet I couldn't clean it out so all you do is you add to it the more comp the more carbon you put in it binds with all the manure and there's no smell if you had smell of vision you couldn't smell any poo right now and we just keep adding it the chicks turn it and then we just keep adding to it We'll, let this, we'll move the chickens out of here, come springtime, we'll put them out on green pasture. Then we'll take this, we can either put the piglets in here and let the piglets turn it, or we can come in here with our Kubota, clean all it out, put it in a compost pile, and turn all this deep bedding and poo into beautiful compost to feed our garden. Hey, how you doing? Which is awesome, and this method is the best method. It's good for them, and it's good for us. Believe it or not, it helps build up their bacteria. It builds up bacteria in the soil, which keeps them healthy. I know a lot of people don't think this is the best way to do it, but it is. This is healthier for your animals to have deep bedding than it is to clean your coop out constantly. And up here, you realistically couldn't clean your coop out all the time. So when we add new hay, I'll put all the grain right on top of the fresh hay. This encourages them to scratch it, to peck it, and to spread it out. And we want them to do that. We want them to be doing this all year round, but we want them to especially be scratching and pecking when they're out on green pasture. Now I like using hay over straw because there's something in the hay for the chickens to get. They'll eat the hay. There's grains in there because there's seeds from all the grass. There's something, there's something in there for them that they want to scratch through and peck it. If you use straw, straw is just a bedding. So I want to encourage my animals to scratch and peck like they would do in nature. I almost forgot to lock the coop door. That wouldn't have been good. All right, let's go give the pigs some water, and then we'll get them some fresh hay also. Good morning. Good morning. Girls thirsty? Ready for your morning cup of coffee? I feed, we give all of our animals warm water. Cause I don't know about you, but when it's cold out, I like to have a nice warm cup of coffee. They got plenty of grain in there. They've been harsh on this feeder this winter, but it's still going strong. Let's go get some hay for them. See, when I put the water container back, there's so much snow, it just falls off. So that's what the shovel trick is for. All right, let's go get the hay. Look at all that ice. Man, I hope the 
next couple of days being in the 40s helps with that ice. Let's see, how can we carry all of this and the camera? Oh man, so close trying to do it one handed. Got it. Don't fall. Now I give the I give the pigs hay for the same reason. They enjoy picking through it and eating it and then they use it for bedding. And then we'll get the compost in. Everything we do here in the homestead, I try to think multifunctional, multi-purpose. How can we get the most money from it? So eating whole foods, we get food scraps, we get to turn that into delicious bacon, hay, we can give it to them for, they'll eat it, when they're done eating it and getting all the good stuff out of it that they want, they're going to use it for bedding, they're going to keep warm, we're going to use it for deep bedding, they're going to poo in it, we're going to compost all that, and then we're going to get some more delicious food. The creator made it so there's a great continuous loop. We just need to take advantage of that cycle that he's made. The way I like to look at it is it all starts at the dinner plate and it all ends at the dinner plate. It's kind of harsh, but it's true. It starts and stops at the dinner plate. That's the way I like to look at it. And it just kind of puts it into perspective like that's one big cycle. If we can make the connections, I think that's awesome. This didn't happen by chance. This was all made by design and I just appreciate that and it's beautiful. So our food scraps don't go to waste. We get to convert them into bacon. How can you get any better than that? Only if we could tap pine trees and make maple syrup from pine trees. We have so many pine trees. Pluto, what are you doing? Come on. Figaro is keeping an eye on us. He's watching us work in the warm house. Gotta go shut the outdoor kitchen. I'm looking forward to start making some maple syrup. We'll be utilizing the outdoor kitchen for that. Whoa. That's the cue. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us today. If you're new to the channel, we've been getting a lot of new subscribers. We wanted to thank you. And if you're new to our channel and you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time to subscribe. Go on down below, hit the subscribe button, and while you're there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications. And maybe, maybe not, no guarantees, YouTube might notify you and let you know every time we upload a video. But if they don't, remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. So thanks for stopping over, thanks for watching, leaving comments, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. What, you're not going to dive bomber? Yeah, there you go. Crazy cat.